It is time for Thirsty's Live, and we are talking about the fit and function of Thirsty's potty training pants. So, these come in a variety of sizes and prints. So, we have size small, we have a medium trainer here. Let's see, here is another medium in our classic Jurassic. Then we have large and let's see, I believe this is another large. Yep, large. And then it also is available in extra large. So we're gonna talk about these trainers. We're gonna talk about the fit and function of them on Thursday's Live. Hello everyone and thanks so much for joining us and if you are tuning in on Facebook there is a giveaway for this Thirsty's Live. All you need to do is comment on this video and you will get in the running for your choice of Thirsty's potty training pant. So the main focus of this chat is all about fit and function for our trainers, which is why I started showing off the size of the trainers. So let me explain to you a little bit about the design of our potty training pant. So when we were coming out with our trainers, we really decided to go with a more child-centric design, meaning we want this to look and feel as much like undies as possible with still giving extra protection for catching those small potty training accidents, okay? So, let me just show you briefly kind of an outline of what this looks like. So here is the inside of our trainer. And you'll see the wetness zone has it's all organic cotton on the inside. The interior wetness zone here has four layers of certified organic cotton. And then in the middle of this wetness zone, there is also some waterproofing. So on the outside, it feels like cloth. It doesn't feel like a diaper, but you've got that extra built-in absorbency plus the waterproofing on the wetness zone. And that is, I have an awesome quote from one of our Thirsty's groupies. Let me find it. So they're saying, oh, I don't think I wrote it down. But she said, it makes the uh-oh, too slow moments not a giant mess. So a lot of people are in the live comments are saying he loves his they love the trainers awesome awesome so that's the that's the overall design of it now let's talk about sizing so for the size small this is designed for babies approximately 20 to 27 pounds now when I was asking the groupies what size clothes their kiddos were wearing in the small Basically, it worked well for kiddos that were in 18-month clothes or just getting into like 2T. So the very beginning of 2T to 18 months would be for a size small. And again, all of these weight limits, they're approximations. So the important thing is you need to know your little one's body shape. So one thing you'll notice about our trainers is we have a pretty uh, generous opening at the legs. That is intentional because we want your little one to be able to pull these down and up. They've got really nice elastic here, but it's designed so that your little one can pull them up and down. And one of our groupies was saying, 
that they really actually love this, that the legs are big enough that their little one can get them down and up, but it still contains what it needs to. So that is the small. Now, probably the most, the best selling size that we have is our medium, okay? So here is a medium in our rocket print and here's a medium in our classic Jurassic. Now, this is for kiddos weighing approximately 26 to 35 pounds and when asking the groupies kind of what size clothes does their little one wear with this size trainer, they're about 2T to 3T for the medium size, okay? Now, with all of these sizes, if your kiddo is on the thinner end of things and you're kind of right on that edge between sizes, take a look at their legs and make your choice with the leg width. So skinnier ones, you're probably going to want to choose the lower size. Whereas heftier side little ones, are, you're going to want to size them up, okay? So, we love our thirsties. We're in trainers now. Oh, awesome. Awesome, guys. So, now let's move on to our large. Okay? Large is designed for kiddos around 33 to 45 pounds. So now you're starting to get into more the th at the end of 3T clothes into 4T clothes. So that's your size large here, okay? And then our last size is extra large, which is 42 to 56 pounds okay so and this is going to be like at the end of 4t clothes moving into 5t clothes and hefty legs it's true <laughs> and what we we do want to come out with more prints so be looking for more um new trainer prints in 2020 we actually just, our retailers just started ordering our gorgeous, not, it's not available in a trainer, but our gorgeous fall print, Autumn Blaze, and our fall color, Burnt Orange. And we're really excited about that. So, let's talk a little more about how to use your trainers. So, you know, hopefully now this clarifies fit for the different sizes and really we do tend towards the we want your kiddo to be able to pull them down pull them up so that's why we've got the waistband as it is it's secure but not too hard of an elastic and then a little more generous cut on the legs so your daughter has those the hefty thighs Stephanie <laughs> it's funny so, now, how do you use this? Just like any other natural fiber product that you're going to get from Thirsties, you're going to want to wash and dry these three times for expecting them to be fully absorbent. Okay, so you're going to want to just throw them in with your towels. Goodness gracious, guys, it's windy today. <laughs> I'm getting all the Thirsties lives outside as I can until it gets too cold. I love doing it out here. Hopefully you guys don't mind the wind. But, so three wash and dry cycles to prep them. And then when, for normal use, if they haven't been peed in, I mean, you can just wash them like underwear, except only put them in the dryer on low. Okay, why? Because that's gonna help preserve the waterproofing that's on the inside, and also you're gonna get more life out of your elastics if you dry them on low. Or you can air dry them too, your choice. Okay, and then if your baby does soil or pee in these, what we recommend is you're gonna remove that soil that solid waste, okay, you're going to remove that from the diaper. 
I would give it a good dunk, you know, give it a good dunk in your toilet. Or if you are a cloth diapering family and you've got a diaper sprayer, I would spray it, then wring it out, okay? And you can, if you're still using maybe diapers during nighttime, you can just wash it with your regular diaper laundry. Or if you're not using cloth diapers, what you can do is do maybe a small load with like hand towels or something like that. Do a quick wash to do like a pre-wash cycle, okay? Then you're gonna do a hot wash with detergent and then an extra rinse, okay? So that is how you use them. And then in terms of care and use. Now here are some strategies in terms of approaching potty training and using these as a part of your potty training, what I call your toolkit, okay? First things first is you're gonna wanna be sure that your kiddo is, we at Thirsties, we believe that potty training and diapering really should be more focused on the child's needs and where your kid is. I mean, of course, your own life things and parental preference obviously plays a role, but you really should be thinking about, is your kiddo ready for potty training before going all out with trainers? Okay, so there, um, we have a couple of Thirsties Lives, previous Thirsties Lives, all about that. One is just approaches to potty training, and then we've got another one that just shows you a little more in depth about the trainer. I can go ahead and I'll link those in the comments below, but be sure to check out the potty training basics video because that's going to give you a lot of tips as to maybe is your child ready for potty training and also gives you a couple of ideas of what type of approach that you might want to use. So, here is a really great quote though from a Montessori article. Toilet learning should assist the child to develop the ability to control two distinct actions for urination and defecation. Pooping. I'm probably saying that wrong. Nature intended these functions to operate for the survival of the species. However, for children to control and coordinate these activities, their awareness of them has to develop concurrently with the maturation of the systems involved. So, bladder control, right? And also knowing when they go. That's why our training pant does not have stay dry because they are meant for if your child has an accident accidents really aren't accidents they're learning opportunities right i potty learning is i really like that term because it's a process okay so you want your child to feel and understand when they go and our trainer is designed to do that. Ashley has a really great question. Are these for nighttime training? No. The, this is not a nighttime trainer. Okay? So one of the things, actually I've got a really great quote from Samantha, a Thirsty's Groupies. She said that the trainer saved my car seat and gave me a little extra assurance for nighttime. I love that they don't hold a ton, otherwise it would have confused my daughter. So, another quote from Sarah about using these at night. These were great as a just in case after my daughter was night trained, okay? They felt trim enough that she referred to them as her night undies. I knew they wouldn't hold an entire accident, but they saved us from having to change every piece of linen in her bed. So, if your little one uses this at night, this is not, a trainer is not a diaper, okay? 
A trainer is not a diaper. It's not going to give you the type of protection as a diaper. That's just not what they're designed to do. But, and I actually have used these at night with my daughter as well, because she went through a spell after she was night trained, she kind of regressed and started having some more accidents. And so she would wear her, we actually called them night undies as well. And when she did have an accident in this, obviously the trainer was soaked and her jammies were wet, but I didn't have to strip her bed. Okay, so the trainer was wet, the inside of her jammies were damp but I didn't have to like totally undo the bed okay now if your child consistently is wetting at night maybe you might but they're excited about potty training during the day maybe just do what I did was we had for a long time we had night diapers and day undies Okay, so whatever approach you have, I don't think that there's, well, there's absolutely no one way to potty train a kid. That's just, there are lots of tips and you can learn from other people's experiences, but you have to find what works best for you. Actually, one of our really loyal groupies, Cheyenne, she's like, I would love to buy these, but my son is much better when he's not wearing anything. He's successful when he doesn't have anything on. And so I don't think that this is going to be a good investment for me. And I would say, yeah, Cheyenne, you're right. If going naked is what works for your kiddo, then do that. I mean, yes, it would be fun to buy all the cute trainer prints, but if you don't really need them, there you go. Let's see, I see a question. Um, how do you know what size a trainer to get? Donna, you'll want to watch the beginning of this video because I talk through all of the fit stuff. Yes, if you are joining us live, be sure to get the fit tips at the beginning of the video. So, that is what we have. Now, if you, just a, because often we get a question of like how many to buy. If you're using these, pretty much all day for like extra protection at home, we would recommend buying maybe a stash of about 10. If you are using these just as like extra protection, maybe while you're out and about, you probably only need like five, okay? So build your stash according to your own needs. Um, let's see, Blaine is saying, I'm obsessed with our Thirsty's trainers. I bought a ton of different brands when my daughter was starting to wake up dry. Thirsty's are the best hands down. She's never had a leak in them. And we, let's see, I lost it. She's never had a leak in them. And they are also the best fit. My girl is 18 months, 20 pounds, and the size small fits perfectly. Most brands were too big for her tiny booty. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for sharing that. So, there we go. Thirsty's trainers. Fit and function. These are designed to give you little extra protection to help you along you and your thirsties. We can't even call them thirsties babies at this point, right? Your, your thirsties little ones in their potty training journey. Which, you know, it's bittersweet when your kiddo is getting out of diapers, isn't it? But at least there are cute trainers now that you can get. And then there's also, of course, our Simply Sustainable collection that now you can also get some thirsties goodies that the whole family can use. Thank you guys so much for joining us on Thirsty's Live. Join Dave next week from the warehouse for our autumn blaze and burnt orange release day. It's going to be fabulous. And guys, let me know if there are things that you want me to cover on Thirsty's Live. Since this is a giveaway video, meaning if you're watching this on Facebook, every comment you have on this video counts as an entry to win a Thirsty's trainer. So tell me, what Thirsty's live topics would you like us to cover? All right, my neighbor's about to have some construction happen on their new deck, so I'm gonna sign off. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week on Thirsty's Live.